Hello explorers and welcome back to my channel Fly Explore. As you know with this channel we review flights, hotels and discover cities together. As always please smash that like and subscribe button to help bring you relevant content. Today we'll be travelling to Bangkok where I had four nights in the heart of the city and the beautiful hotel So by Sofitel. This video will include a tour of the hotel, look at the bedroom, pool and my favourite part, the executive lounge. There are so many luxury hotels to choose from in Bangkok and we wanted to stay in something that rivals the funky and contemporary W brand but maintains its luxury status. This is why we chose the So by Sofitel. It is just south of the district, Patham, and it's right outside the beautiful Lupini Park. I apologise for my Thai pronunciation, it's not the best. The hotel is about a 30-45 minute taxi journey from the airport. This is pretty standard for all hotels in the centre. This hotel is in a fantastic location. It is near everything that you should and want to see in Bangkok. Now our pronunciation of Thai words isn't great as I mentioned before, uh, but this hotel is about 10 minutes away from the Grand Palace. The gold, the gold reclining Buddha was Arun, uh, which is a riverside temple and markets galore. The first stop is the bedroom. We booked the So Club room. The hotel is split into four different elements, wood, metal, earth and water. The rooms are then designed around this theme and you can choose whichever one you'd like when you checked in, depending on availability. We chose water as it was on a higher floor. Now this room size is approximately 45 meters squared, so it's a good size for a city. And when you walk in, you're immediately hit with a walk-in wardrobe, which is everything that you expect in a room. Ironing board, hair dryer, safe and lots of storage. I apologise for the wife's clothes in the wardrobe. I probably should have recorded it before we unpacked, but we were keen. There's a nice little touch here, which is the dressing table, which is a mirror and a stool to get ready on as well. Now, I really like this mini bar. Coffee machine, a kettle, integrated into the wall, keeping the room nice and spacious. The coffee machine is illy, and the pods are topped up daily. There's a choice of teas, the ice bucket, and the mini bar is free. Not that exciting, but it's still free with the club rooms. So you can have like soft drinks, snacks and water in the room. This is an excellent benefit and it's not seen in a lot of hotels so it can save a bit of cash there. Now the bedroom, it has this huge king size bed looking straight out into the park. Waking up and seeing that green in a busy city was just beautiful. The bed had little charge points built in so this is great, I really like this. So you can set your alarm uh, on your phone quite easily. Also in the room there's a snuggle chair with an average size TV and a desk to work from. And like here is the park just look how beautiful it is and a perk of this hotel is that they can give you bikes for free to use in this park so it's really nice just to cycle around and have a look at it and take in all the greenery the desk was great it had a lot of space to work at a few sockets but are not enough for my gear that i take away with me that's why i carry this extension cable an absolute top tip whilst traveling saves on the adapters it had this little stationary drawer so it had like the notepads sellotape Headed paper in case you fancy going old school and write a letter to home, but it was nice just to have everything there in case you needed it. Now the bathroom my wife and I loved, it had this nice his and hers theme in it, like with the dressing gowns and like all the amenities were separated as well. Not that I couldn't use the hers version, uh, it's just that I'm not going to use some of the products that are on offer. What I liked about the So by Sofitel was it that it felt like they were trying to make a conscious effort to go green. An example is the soap and the conditioner. Uh, the maid would come in and top it up every day rather than fill every room with miniatures that all get thrown away at the end of your stay anyway. Now this is the wet room which had a large shower and a huge bath but be careful the water goes everywhere. And I'm not sure if they can see into the bathroom while showering as I kept the blind open the whole time. The view was just incredible not to admire it whilst taking a shower. Now every day they brought something different into the room whether it be a small afternoon tea with macaroons or some form of tea or freshly pressed juice. It was just nice to come back after they cleaned the room with this little treat. Obviously a turn down service was done in the evening, it's what you expect from this level of hotel. It was nicely done with the pillows plumped and the quilt folded and the little sweet treats on the bed. 
Now, as you probably realised from my other videos, the club lounge is my favourite part of any hotel. I always do my research and try to see what is on offer, but not many places have this information. So that's why I decided to create these videos to show everyone, because like, this is exactly what I was looking for when making a, a choice of my booking. So when you walk into the lounge, you're greeted by so many friendly staff, and the lounge is surprisingly a good size. There's a nice little outside balcony where you can have a drink and smoke. Inside has a variety of tables to relax at or a different type of table just to eat something a bit more formal like at breakfast time. So this is a few minutes of what has been offered for breakfast, afternoon tea and evening drinks. And at breakfast time you have a very good menu to choose from, it's the Asian and Western cuisine. As I had a lot of noodles I thought I would go for some eggs royale which were cooked to perfection so it was nicely done. But if you don't fancy something large, you can just help yourself to the variety of juices, pastries, fruits, cereals, waffles, toast, salad, cheese. Honestly, the selection was incredible. And this hotel focused a lot on well-being. So they had like protein balls, they had energy smoothies, which they would blend for you freshly. Afternoon tea is often where the letdown is in these hotels and the choice isn't great, the sandwich can be a bit dry, but the sandwich here were very good actually. They had a great selection of sandwiches, the famous waffle machine was still out, they had some sweet treats and a few warm items. Evening cocktails and canapes, excellent choice. Once again, the selection was incredible. It has a balance of the Western and Eastern food, hot and cold dishes. They'll make you a selection of cocktails, anything that you want. There's beer, wine, Prosecco. You know, you can just have a simple gin and tonic. There was just so much choice. And they had this amazing popcorn machine as well. Now the food changed daily uh, every time that we stayed here. We were here for four nights and we didn't see any repetition. That doesn't mean they don't do it on the fifth or sixth night, but it was nice that it was something different each night. Now, when we weren't exploring, we were at this beautiful infinity pool. You literally walk into bliss. It has sun lounges in the pool, which I must admit is a slight pain. If you do have some tech or even a book, you're just scared of dropping it. But it looks fantastic and it's nice and relaxing. There's a nice little fine dining area, which creates an image of being sunk into the pool. And in case tiling it isn't hot enough, there's a jacuzzi for you as well, which to be fair was actually really relaxing. The bar has an excellent selection of food and drink on offer and I like the menu it's on this little pillow um, for you rather than getting a standard paper. Now the gym is a good size with lots of equipment. I'm going to be honest, I didn't really go inside as it was a holiday but here's a nice little sneak peek for, for you. This hotel I would highly recommend. If you are staying in Bangkok, it's a great location. The room is fantastic, the pool is beautiful, Sky Bar, it has incredible views of the city and amazing cocktails. 
and I hope this video has helped you in your decision making for the hotel. But please don't forget to smash that like button, the subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. If you anything you want to see in future videos, please let me know in the comment section.